This is Rob Orlando from Hybrid Athletics, and today we're going to walk through how to make a stone, an atlas stone, using the Hybrid Athletics stone molds. And you can see here some of the supplies that you'll need. These supplies can be picked up at any Home Depot or Lowe's or Home Improvement Center. We've got 80 pound bags of concrete, and that concrete head is aggregate in it so you want to make sure that you've got little stones in it you'll also see silicone spray that's the releasing agent and zip ties those are the couple pieces that you'll need in order to make a stone and you can see here I'm spraying the stone mold with the silicone spray that acts like a releasing agent and I'm applying it liberally so I want to make sure that the entire mold is coated this way the concrete doesn't bind to the plastic and it makes taking the stone out a lot easier. And once I've got those two halves sprayed down, put the two halves together, I'll stack it on top of a five gallon bucket. That makes it easy to fill. It just brings it up to a better height. And then I'll take the zip ties and I'll put zip ties through the matching holes top and bottom. There's 12 holes around the mold and that binds the two halves together so that when you fill it with concrete the concrete doesn't come out of the sides and then I'll give it a quick wipe down our stone molds are reusable you can see this one's actually been used several times uh, so as long as you take good care in cleaning them you can use them over and over and there's that 80 pound bag of concrete I'm not doing this with a mixer I'm gonna do it in a wheelbarrow with a hoe and a shovel and I'll take the bags, I'll crack two bags, the, again these are 80 pounds a piece, so there's 160 pounds of concrete, and the stone that we're making is 130 pound stone. So I should have about 30 pounds of concrete left over, and you'll see at the end that's about what I've got. But what I take here is the hoe and I separate it, I make two piles, one on the front side of the wheelbarrow and one on the back, and I'm just making it so that I can add the water. I've got my five gallon bucket of water sitting on the, the side. Add the water in and start to mix the concrete. And I do this with the hoe, just slowly bringing the two parts together. And you can see I'm just trying to drag the, the concrete mix and bring everything together. You don't want to make too big of a mess, so just do it slowly kind of work from side to side and now you can see I've, I'm pulling it back and forth and you want to get it to a consistency that actually looks really good right there you want a consistency that's um, that flows off the shovel if it sticks to the shovel it's too dry you actually want it to to slide pretty easily off the shovel and right there what I was doing was spraying down the funnel we have a hybrid funnel that makes this a lot faster so we take the funnel and we spray that down with silicone as well and that just helps the concrete slide in and you can see the concrete it easily slides off the shovel and that makes this process a whole lot faster to use the funnel because you can get 20 or 30 pounds per shovel full and then I'm gonna give that a shake and I'm gonna settle the concrete down I want to try to get everything, get all the air bubbles pushed out and get the concrete to settle as much as possible. And I'll use a hand trowel just to top it off. You'll see, just cheap, I keep trying to push down as much as I can get because you want to fill in all the voids. You want this thing to be completely packed down with concrete. And at some point, you won't be able to use the funnel much anymore. I'll give that another shake just to keep settling the concrete down. The more you settle the concrete, the tighter the pack gets, the smoother the stone will be. So now I'm going to go with my hand trowel and just top it off. A couple more small shovelfuls, just at one trowel at a time. And I'm just poking holes down there to try to get everything to settle. And now, once I've gotten it to a point where I can't get any more concrete in, I use my fist, and there's a, a bunch of different ways that you can do this, but you basically want to vibrate it so that you get all the air bubbles to rise to the top, and you get all the concrete to settle down. Again, the, the game here is to just get as much concrete pushed down as you can so that it's as smooth as possible. So I just rotate it, give it a couple hits with my fist, and there's the finished product. So you've got the concrete is in the mold. 
and now this is a day and a half later and I'm gonna cut off the zip ties just one by one snip them pull them apart so I use the flat edge of the screwdriver push it in between the two lips of the mold turn it sideways that breaks the seal the top will come right off and then you gently want to set the mold on the floor and you can see that I'll grab it with both hands and set it down and then I'm gonna roll it over so it's concrete side down but I want to do that and not roll it over the edge of the plastic then I use the flat edge of the screwdriver to break the seal so I give it gentle taps all the way around if for some reason it gets stuck or vacuum sealed onto the stone you can pour a couple gallons of really hot water over the plastic that'll expand the plastic and it should pop right off I take the flat edge of the screwdriver and knock off all the burrs around the equator just trying to smooth that out so it's not an abrasive on the skin and you'll see here the, the more you do that you can really smooth out the edges and and make that stone super smooth from top to bottom all the way around the equator itself and I just take my time using the barrel of the screwdriver to make sure that all the little pebbles any of the pebbles or aggregate that's been collected around the edge you just want to knock those off so I give that a quick little rub down I take off I want to feel around the stone to see if it's all smoothed out but what I could do if there were any imperfections I can take a wet towel and give it a quick rub and, and there's the finished product and then what I would do next is clean the stone mold itself then it's ready for use next time around hybrid athletics